Next up is uh, Tony Musachin. I'm going to get that wrong. Sorry, Tony. President of Merlin Plastics, a company that in 2005 won the Recycling Council of BC Award in recognition of its ongoing commitment to the ideas and responsible environmental stewardship in the province of British Columbia. Tony, there you are. Come on up. Thank you. I'm here to share with you 25 year, 22 years of experience of Merlin Plastics in recycling plastics packaging. So today's story and message is the impact the packaging design has on achieving a successful recycling infrastructure. A brand owner makes a decision on the design of the product and what materials they use. And these decisions are critical on uh, the downstream collectors, recyclers, and end users. If the decision, uh, if the decision was made, uh, if the product design was made that it's not recyclable, no effort will make it recyclable. If the product is designed uh, in such a manner that it's impossible to recycle it, we can collect it from point A to point B or, and uh, do whatever we need to do, but we will not achieve recycling that we would like to achieve. It will not be, we will not be able to use it as a uh, uh, renewable resource, uh, as, uh, sorry, an, as an alternative to the non-renewable resource, and we won't be able to make it into new packaging. So the partnership between a recycler and uh, producer is very important. What is the recycling success? Recycling success is, in my understanding, is able to produce a product, quality product, that we can turn around and, and uh, able to make into new product, bottle to bottle, uh, and so on and so forth. So we're trying, our, achieve, our, our goal is really to go beyond waste diversion, is to be able to uh, be an alternative for non-renewable resources. It's, uh, uh, it's, our goal is also is to be able to uh, uh, reduce our dependency on, on oil and substitute oil. Our goal also is to reduce our carbon footprint and recycling achieves those three goals. This is part of the recycling uh, you know, success story, basically a bottle going to bottles. This is a, a natural color bottle that goes back into detergent household, industrial detergent bottles. And also we have other applications such as durable goods, products that goes into pipe and so on and so forth. Some major players have taken uh, uh, extended product stewardship very seriously many years ago. And uh, just uh, some of you may recall, like uh, 15 years ago, for example, uh, we had a uh, 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 pop bottle that was manufactured, was manufactured with the metal caps. It had uh, base, uh, base cups on it to make it solid. And those were serious contamination and impediment to uh, successful recycling through a, uh, a product stewardship of some sort, uh, those brand owners have taken their role seriously and they have designed their package so it's compatible with the recycling infrastructure. Uh, not only that the package is, is uh, that the bottle is made recyclable, but the enclosure, the caps, the label, and the ink is friendlier for recycling. So those are some decisions. I'm just showing you some of the decisions. So how, how bottle has evolved from, from a metal caps to a, uh, a plastic caps, from a paper label to a plastic label that have helped successfully re successful recycling. BC recycling rate today for beverage container is well over 50%. BC actually had many years ago, over 10 years ago, some sort of extended product responsibility. And this is part of, uh, of uh, the reason recycler can be successful. It's through this dialogue between brand owner and, and, and recycler uh, that makes, makes recycling viable. This is the last, uh, oops. Basically, uh, we do our part, but brand owner decision about packaging design can make or break community recycling effort. Uh, 
uh, making container that are friendlier for recycling will basically achieve our uh, sustainable goals. Thank you.